Hey, it's me, Kelly the Take Action Wom. How y'all doing? Um, we had a question in our super secret blogging group on Facebook concerning <clears throat> uh, categories on your WordPress blog. And the question was specifically, how do you get all of the posts in one category to show up on a single page? The way I've done here. And you see I've got categories listed in my menu bar. And if you click on one of those categories, it shows all the blog posts in that category on that page. Or on more than one page if you've got you know a lot of them in that certain category. Um, and it's really easy. The first and most important thing is that you make sure you categorize your posts. If you don't know how to categorize your posts, let me show you really quickly here. Um, actually, I need to go to Add New. <coughs> And once you've typed up your post, you're going to come over here and choose a category to add it to. If you don't already have a category for that post, you simply click on Add New Category and type in your new category. It's as simple as that. You want to make sure if, you have, if you're doing fitness posts, you want to make sure that you put them all in the category Fitness. Or say, say for example, that you're doing fitness posts, but you have some that are exercise and some that are diet. You could have a fitness category and then you could have a subcategory that was a diet that would go under fitness and a subcategory of exercise that would go under fitness. And let me show you the way I've done right here with blogging and I have blog workshop, content creation and niche marketing all subcategories under blogging. That's also very easy. Say I've got my new category and I want to put it under I want it to be a subcategory under my blogging category. I would just choose parent category here, blogging, and then click on add new category. And that would put my new category as a subcat under blogging. It's really very simple to do. Um, now, let's say now that you want to add those categories to your menu bar, how do you do that? First of all, you go to your uh, go over here on your sidebar, you click go to appearance, and click on menus. We don't need to save that, so we'll just leave that page. <clears throat> now, this is my menu structure. This shows you all the things that are on my menu on the front, on my front page of my blog. See, I've got a home page, I've got the about me with my contact form, resources, and here are my categories. And it tells you, see here, you see this is a custom, these are pages on my blog, and these are all categories. Now, the way you get categories onto your menu is right over here. You've got three options. You can have, for things that you put on your menu bar, it can be a page, it can be a link to another page or another site, or it can be a category. So we'll just open up categories here and go to view all. And to show you how I would do this, actually I think it's already there, let's look at another one. Um, say I want to put, hmm, mom's rock or taking action, let's go with taking action. I want to add taking action to my menu. So I just check it and then click on add to menu. And here it is down here. And let's look over here real quick. Oh, I need to save it. Click on save menu. Once you've done something, you have to click on save menu or it will not take effect. So while that sets itself up, let's run over here and reload this page and it'll show you that now taking action has been added to my menu bar. But I really dislike menu bars that go into two lines. I think they look sloppy and I don't like having it. And here's one reason. If you have drop down menus in your menu bar, see how they run into each other and that looks really ugly and nobody's going to like that. So what I would like to do is move taking action into my mindset training the way that motivation is here. 
and that's super easy to do. Let's just come back over here to our uh, menu structure, and I'm going to click on, click and drag. This is a this is a drag and drop system. You just click and drag this, and you see how it inset as I dragged it over to the right a little bit. It let me inset this under mindset training, so it's not directly in line now, which would put it at the top level of my menu bar, but instead it's nested under mindset training. So let's save that again. Come back over here. I'm sorry that my internet's really slow. It takes those things a minute to load up. And reload this page. And now you can see how taking action has been moved under mindset training. It's nested in there and it's in the second level down now. So you can click on any one of these things. If we click on taking action, here we'll find the posts I've done that are tagged taking action. Which you think that I would have more than two seeing as I'm the take action one, wouldn't you? Go figure. So that's it. <clears throat> Basically, if you want to have all your similar posts show up on a page together, you have to first of all make sure that you categorize them correctly so that you have all those posts in the same category and then go into your dashboard under appearance menus and set up your menu structure so that you can put your add your categories to your menu and save and that's all there is to it I hope that's helped you out um, if you have any questions you can either um, if you're watching this on YouTube you can comment down below the video if you're watching this on my blog, you can comment on the blog, or you can send me an email or go into my, um, right here, contact me, whatever's easiest for you. Also, if you want to get in on our super secret blogging group on Facebook, be, if you're seeing this on YouTube, there's going to be a link down there in the info, info for the video, or if you're on my blog, there's going to be a sign up opt-in down at the bottom of the post. So I hope to see you there. Take care. This is Kelly, the Take Action Woman, and I'll see you next time.